Hi, everybody. This is Gatsad. Today we are May 25th, 2023, in exactly two months, July 25th, 2023. This baby is going to be released. Please consider uh, pre ordering your copy today. Uh, the sad truth about happiness is, well, all about happiness, about the types of decisions that we can make that might hopefully increase our happiness and reduce our likelihood for misery. What are the types of mindsets that we can uh, adopt that can, again, increase our chances of, of happiness? So it's really a mixture of uh, my personal experiences in life, coupled with ancient wisdoms and contemporary science put all together and hopefully a an exciting stew for you to read. I'll just very quickly read you the titles of the chapters so you're getting advance exposure here and then I thought I would maybe read you the endorsements from my seven brilliant endorsers of the book. Uh, but first, chapter one, uh, it's titled, I'm Being the Happy Professor. Then chapter two, Ancient and Modern Wisdom Regarding the Good Life. Chapter three, Key Life Decisions, The Right Life Partner and the Ideal Job. Chapter four, The Sweet Spot, All Good Things in Moderation. Chapter five, Life as a Playground. Chapter six, Variety as the Spice of Life, Sometimes. Chapter seven, On Persistence and the Anti-Fragility of Failure. Chapter eight, It's almost never too late, eradicate regret. And then chapter nine, don't worry, be happy. So those are the um, the titles of the various chapters. Uh, and now what I thought I would do is read you the uh, praise, the endorsements of my nine endorses. But again, remember, please, guys, in exactly two months, that's why I'm re releasing this today. In two months, the book will be officially out. I already have lined up some uh, incredible media appearances uh, the first week that uh, the book will be released. But it's very, very important that you pre-order, especially if you support my work, if you are planning on buying the book anyways, because all of the pre-orders, then the first day of the book's release, all those pre-orders get counted as part of the first week sales. And then if there are enough pre-orders, meaning enough sales that first week, then it makes it on the bestsellers list. And then that becomes a domino effect. Uh, uh, you know, to ensure that the, the book uh, is seen and then hopefully read. So here are the seven people that uh, have endorsed the book. This is the sublime Megan Kelly. No one is better at helping us laugh at the madness of today's modern world than my dear friend, podcaster, and therapist to us all, Dr. Gatsad, whether using his acerbic wit to address a public absurdity, absurdity or broadcasting from under his desk in mock terror as he takes on the latest fear gripping the internet, Gad leads, us by, leads by example in showing us how humor is key to managing stress, upset, anger, and frustration. His new book, The Sad Truth About Happiness, reveals the secrets behind his optimistic approach to life and shows us how we can be happier people too. What a lovely endorsement from the truly inimitable Megan Kelly. I've been on her show twice. I'll be going back on her show again uh, when the book is released. She's been on my show uh, once. She's got it all. Brains, beauty, charm, honey badger. So I'm very, very uh, honored with that lovely uh, endorsement. Endorsement number two from Dr. Jordan Peterson, best-selling author. There is a virtual epidemic of unnecessary misery in the Western world at the present time. Much of it is the result of ideologies that stress victimization, insist on an external locus of control, and offer a borderless and unconstrained impulsive hedonism as a pathway to the good life. Professor Saad, who is, in truth, an engaging and happy person, offers a wiser alternative. Happiness is to be found in Dr. Saad's well-founded estimation in the spirit of free play, in responsible, altruistic, reciprocal social interactions, in the sense of awe and admiration available to anyone with open eyes. 
The idea that structureless freedom is anything other than the desert of the soul is harming people, young and old alike. Dr. Saad offers an alternative vision, an alternate vision, laying out a more classic road to the good life, as is generally the case with wise people. What a fantastic uh, and lovely uh, endorsement from the brilliant and a very good friend, uh, Jordan Peterson, a real man's man. Love the guy. Thank you, Jordan. This is Arian Kiriati, MD, psychiatrist and director of the Bioethics and American Democracy Program at the Ethics and Public Policy Institute. Uh, and as you know, of course, Jordan has been on my show. I've been on his show. And Arian, uh, Aaron was recently uh, on my show. What an engaging, lovely guy. So this is his endorsement. With his characteristic wit, Professor Saad has produced an invaluable guide to the pursuit of happiness in the glut of mostly worthless self-help books. This valuable gem stands apart. Instead of fly-by-night fads and paper-thin pop psychology, this book's sage and sane advice draws equally from the springs of ancient wisdom and modern science, grounding us us grounding us in the eternal truths of human nature. Sad distills these sources into a winsome guide to a more flourishing life. What a fantastic uh, endorsement. Especially I appreciate him recognizing the, the incorporation of both the, the ancient wisdoms and the contemporary science. That's exactly what I was trying to do. So thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Darren McCann, McMahon. Professor of History at Dartmouth College and author of Happiness, A History. Darren was on my show uh, not too long ago, in the, in the past year or two. You can go back and check it out. Uh, so this is, as I said, uh, Professor McMahon. Gad Saad knows that there is no magic formula for achieving happiness, but in this book, he distills deep learning and practical wisdom to offer valuable insights grounded in science and experience. Written with warmth and humanity, the sad truth, it turns out, is a happy one. Nice. Thank you, Darren. You're a mensch. And now we have David Buss, who is one of the pioneers of evolution psychology. He's been on my show twice, uh, a dear friend. Uh, I remember the first time that I met David was in 2001, I think. At least the first time I met him in person. I was giving a talk at the evolution and human behavior conference it was i think at university college london in london england and he was sitting in the audience along with some of the other pioneers uh, uh john tooby lita cosmides martin daly and margot wilson these were these are the giants of uh, you know evolutionary behavioral sciences and i was a young professor this is 22 years ago and i'm seeing the crowd i'm seeing all of these incredibly accomplished people and to know that some of these people have become friends, uh, including, of course, David Buss, who by, uh, whom by, who wrote, by the way, the uh, preface to my 2011 book, The Consuming Instinct. So thank you, David. So this is what David Buss had to say. He's, of course, the author of The Evolution of Desire, Strategies of Human Mating, a phenomenal, a classic book. If you want to know about you know, mating preferences, Evolved Mating Preferences, that's the book you have to read. It's his classic book. He's written many other books, but that's probably his most classic one. So professor of psychology at the University of Texas at Austin and founding member of the field of evolutionary psychology. So the sad truth about happiness brims with insight into the journey we all take in life. Its engaging style and personal stories make the abstract principles vibrant amidst a flurry of books on happiness, Sad's evolutionary lens brims with wisdom and novel light on life's most ancient mystery, how to live an authentic life. Thank you so much for these beautiful words, David. Now we've got Dr. Drew Pinsky, physician and podcaster. Drew and I have become good friends. We hung out in Laguna Beach uh, recently, got to meet his lovely wife, uh, Susan, uh, he met my wife and, and our children and, uh, what a lovely guy, just so humble, down to earth, jovial, authentic, absolute gem, a mensch of a person. 
so this is what Dr. Drew said about uh, my forthcoming book. Remember, it's this one. If all of these endorsements are not convincing you that you need to pre-order the book, I don't know what will. So this is Dr. Drew. Embedded in his own lived experiences, his work as an academic, and the occasional advice from the likes of Aristotle and Viktor Frankl, Dr. Saad delivers a tour de force, or tour, yeah, tour de force, I'm saying it in the French accent, that will increase the likelihood that any of us should find our way to happiness. Thank you, Drew. You're fantastic. And the last of my seven endorsers is Jay Batasharia. What a guy. I mean, this guy, top scholar, top gentleman, top human being. Uh, I met him in person for the first time in, uh, at Stanford. We were both uh, speaking at the uh, Stanford University Conference on Academic Freedom this past, uh, I think it was early November. We got to meet, got to know each other, and uh, I had him also on the show. He's been a guest. All of these folks have been uh, guests on my show. And uh, just, just an amazing guy. Love him. So I thought he would be a, a great guy to ask to blurb my book. So here's what he said. Evolutionary psychologist and wise man, Professor Gatsad, knows how to be happy even amid controversy, turmoil, and danger. He is the epitome of a happy warrior living up to the meaning of his last name, Saad, which translates to happiness and prosperity in Arabic. That's right. His new book, delightfully written, searches both ancient wisdom and modern social sciences for the answer. It has practical advice about finding the right the right life partner, the right job, and how to deal with failure. Ultimately, the answer Professor Saad provides lies more in the variety and depth of a person's life experiences than in the heft of a person's wallet. Exactly right. Uh, read it if you want to learn how to be happy. It is written by someone who knows. And this is, again, Jay Batasharia, MD, PhD, Professor of Health Policy at Stanford University School of Medicine. I'm, uh, I can't tell you how touched I am when I receive such uh, wonderful words from such esteemed people. And I, I try to, you know, pick people in, you know, one is a historian, another one, you know, a couple are physicians, health policy, clinical psychologists, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to cover a whole range of people. You got Megan Kelly, who's a big TV personality, a journalist, a trained as a lawyer. And so to have such illustrious people, you know, take the time to read my book and offer these kinds of incredibly glowing endorsements, uh, it's humbling and it makes me feel so excited that hopefully soon, in two months exactly, the book will be unleashed onto the world. And uh, there's nothing more exciting uh, then when you you know you've taken all this time to to work on on the book that when people then consume it they you know they find pleasure in it and then you know I receive I sit back and I receive all these wonderful emails from from fans and supporters so please uh, as I said consider pre-ordering it and uh, not that I wanted to do two announcements today but very very quickly I wanted to also announce that just yesterday May twenty fourth uh, I started it's been years that different companies and so on have asked me to set up a subscription-based uh, content, uh, you know, the way that you have on Locals, for example, and so on. Uh, well, I decided for now at least to, because Twitter seems to be so vibrant, I really want to support uh, what's happening there. I decided to join their subscription uh, model uh, or option. This is where, you know, you can go to my uh, profile on Twitter and you subscribe for six dollars a month you'll get all sorts of exclusive content it could be ex like yesterday i posted uh photos of my wife's uh uh chocolate chip cookies and the recipe to her cookies only the subscribers got that right posted a photo with me and jordan peterson but also i mean in a more substantive substantive sense i'm hoping to eventually you know create for example uh, subscriber only Twitter spaces. Let's say I want to talk about each of the chapters from the from this book, from this book right here. Again, please head out, pre-order right now. Make me the promise, and uh, maybe I'll do you know each time 
uh, you know, a 30 minute or 45 minute, whatever it is, Twitter spaces only for subscribers to discuss each of the chapters, right? Like a book club, or I might do, you know, I'd like to talk for 30 minutes about the psychology of uh, human mate choice or wh whatever, right? But at some point, you know, I thought that it was time to, you know, try to create this community. I know that many, many people had asked me and told me that if I would set up such a thing that they would join. So please consider if you're if you're interested in, in uh, you know, the stuff that I do, please consider subscribing. For the equivalent of one latte, you can get exclusive access to God world, to this brain, to the humor, to the secrets of happiness and so on and so forth. So thank you so much, guys. There's so much exciting stuff happening. I really, you know, I wake up every day with, with such anticipation because there's so many exciting things happening. And again, you know, none of this would be as exciting if it weren't for the, the, the support that I receive from my viewers, listeners, people who subscribe to my channel, people who hopefully are going to subscribe to this new uh, $6 a month deal. Uh, you know, you might think that, oh, it's about my, it, it, the reality is it's never been about the money. I've been doing this, you know, for years and years for free, but ultimately it, it makes sense to put some stuff uh, behind uh, a subscription wall. Uh, I hope that you will agree that it's, it's worthwhile and uh, please join. Let's build a really cool community. I'm very, very excited to get going. And uh, again, subscription on Twitter, pre-order the sad truth about happiness. Thanks everyone. Cheers.